hello Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus welcome to your bonus love reading this is Mary from Mary Starrett Corner let's see what messages will show up for you today Leo what do we have for Leo Leo this is a collective love message for your sign so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation let's see Leo okay you have someone who has a lot to say what do we have for Leo gosh let's see very interesting okay all right distance peace ego yes travel okay so leo we are connecting this reading for you with someone uh, with whom you might share a physical distance this person might be in a different city different state um maybe even different country with this energy because it feels here that this person needs to travel to see you it might be that you are in a long distance relationship but what i am getting that it's like this person would like to relocate but there are some obstacles nevertheless i see distance travel which means essentially leo that there might be indeed physical distance between the two of you and it doesn't make things any easier for this connection so hmm, interesting you have someone here who has ego and it feels like this person show you that side of days um, it's like i'm getting very strongly that you are dealing here with someone who likes to be in the center of attention uh, who doesn't like to be criticized and who doesn't take criticism very well this person might be very proud they it's very difficult for them to admit that they were wrong or they kind of made a mistake it's quite difficult for them to reach out first and kind of you know extend that olive branch i feel this person also can be quite possessive quite materialistic as well but in general this is someone who has insecurities and those insecurities uh, might have been impacting this connection for some time this person here it's with the balance and the peace you know i'm getting that at the end of the day this is someone who wants to bring more balance and kind of harmony to the situation they want to make amends and with the yes card if you have a specific question about this person the answer here is positive it feels like this person will uh, with no doubts they will uh, make an effort or they will reach out or do something here in order to have that uh, to bring more harmony to the situation so you will see some sort of kind of breakthrough very soon that's what i am getting okay we have many cards here for some of you this is someone who is traveling traveling a lot for work oh it's like they had to move because this is where they work is okay maybe i should do it differently but then i will not have enough space um okay i'll just do it that way if you don't mind okay like this but yeah this person has ego that that's without a doubt on your side leo i'm getting very strongly that you are focusing on yourself you are practicing self-love self-care you are making healthy choices growth that sort of energy i feel that you are yeah practicing that self-love self-care indeed there is something here about you going for a certain awakening mm -hmm. i feel that you are focusing on yourself and essentially what is truly working for you this this connection also kind of i'm getting that emotionally force you to um 
at some point look at the situation from a different perspective and it might be a case that you kind of feel that you know i um over can i say it overgrown this situation you might be feeling that way We have caution card as well for you, Leo. I feel that, you know, at the end of the day, it's like you you don't fully trust this person. There is something here that you might feel that, you know, you have to be kind of cautious about. Uh, I'm getting that if this person was to reach out to you, you don't want to rush into things. And it's like at this time, I want... Um, um, dismiss any red flags mutual energy we have exercise leo you might have met this person for instance at the gym or you have like a common thing as you like fitness working out you know maybe you met them during when you made the decision to uh, make some sort of kind of uh, lifestyle changes maybe this person is personal trainer or maybe you are um I'm getting something here with um, with food as well, like a um, dietitian, or if that's the case for some of you, it doesn't have to be the case. But with this energy and those trainers as a mutual energy, I feel that there is indeed at the moment maybe no contact situation, and it's like this person, this person kind of you know, it, th there is a time apart. That's what I am getting. And it, it might be a case that they went that way and you kind of, you know, went that way. And at the moment there is no contact. But overall energy is hope. And it feels very strongly here that, um, Leo, it's like don't lose hope. <laughs> uh, uh, stay positive because it feels here that things are going to change stay optimistic that's what this energy really is showing us okay let's see leo could you please show me more could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards leo and this connection we have a hierophant okay you may be dealing with taurus leo We have the hanged man, mm -hmm. Pisces energy. Show me this person's energy and feelings towards Leo and this connection, please. What do we have? We have a Knight of Wands and we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, you, the, yeah this person has ego. They do have ego, but they want to mm -hmm, balance. They want to bring more uh, balance and harmony to the situation in a form of reconciliation, what I am getting. And we have the death card. Very interesting. This is someone who is receiving their karma. This is someone who is who's having a wake-up call here. And it's like they really want to change the things because, look, we have a chaser. But at the same time, we have this Knight of Wands, which represents a runner. So what I am getting here, that this person might have been or might have acted in the past, or they've been acting like this as a, you know, they brought this kind of dynamic in this connection, chase a runner dynamic, to be precise. Okay, so you might be dealing with Scorpio, have very strong Scorpio, Pisces, and also Taurus. Yeah, what I am getting here... Leo is that this is someone it's like that higher level of commitment with the Hierophant okay here it's blocked with the hanged man and then we have this knight of wands what I am getting here that while you were involved with this individual Leo it feels very strongly that this person wasn't 100% kind of interested in a long term or higher level of commitment. That was something that they didn't take into account, that was not in their agenda, that was not, you know, something that they were planning to go forward with. And with this Knight of Wands, 
it feels here very strongly that indeed this person has enormous amount of passion and and they've always had and they they still have it but they brought this inconsistency represented by the knight of wands they've been very in and out hot and cold they got very easily distracted at some point and they brought chaos to the to the situation with the six of wands this is someone who really wants attention at this time they really i mean at this time to be more precise they really want your attention. So it's like this person is coming here to get your attention. And then we have the judgment. So expect them reaching out to you. This is also a major card of, of the past, but it's like this person wants to resurrect something with you. Okay. But this is also a card of communication. And then we have the death card, which is very interesting because the judgment with the death card suggests here that this person is... Uh, going it's like there is some sort of kind of retrospective i don't know how to say it in english uh they they going through a uh, past situations and it's like the, the those past moments are really playing on this person's mind This is someone who's going through some sort of awakening, but they are like replying a certain events from the past. They feel this urge with the Knight of Swords to come forward because that's a chaser. So you can expect this person to chase you, but they want to talk. This is someone who has something to say and they're rushing in. I really feel that I should approach Leo and we should talk about the situation. Mm -hmm. This person here will tell you that things change with the death card, that they're going through a certain transformation and they are a different person because they thought about everything what happened in the past with the judgment card. And now things will be different. Let's see your energy, Leo. Could you please show me Leo's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? Could you please show me Leo's energy towards this person and this connection? Okay, so let's see what do we have in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Magician, we have Temperance. You might be dealing Leo with Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius. We have Queen of Pentacles focusing on yourself, healing from heartbreak, breakup, emotional disappointment represented by the Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, you're changing completely kind of attitude regarding this whole situation. That's what I am getting. You might be dealing with Gemini indeed. Show me your energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please. And Five of Cups. Lost opportunity. Okay. Three of Wands. I feel Leo that you have your eyes on the prize. You are you are kind of focusing on the future with this overall energy, uh, with the Three of Wands. There is something here that you truly want. It's on the horizon. I feel that you can see it. It's just a matter of time for this thing to kind of come to you. And I feel that you are perfectly aware because with the magician, you're manifesting. You're manifesting that balance. You're manifesting this person subconsciously or not subconsciously, but you, you're manifesting their energy in, in your life because this is exactly what this person wants. I'm also getting that you are focusing more on um, kind of uh, focusing on you because that queen of pentacles it's pre-empress energy meaning that you are practicing the self-love self-care you know that you have so much to offer that you bring a lot to the table and if someone is failed to see it then i feel that you're coming from the place well that's their loss then you know but i'm seeing you being incredibly grounded very 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 calm not chasing anyone and kind of focusing on yourself and manifesting certain things for yourself those desires or those goals that you truly truly want but i need to emphasize one thing here that you manifesting this person and for some of you you want this person indeed to come forward 
and that's what is happening if not you might be manifesting it sub this person subconsciously mm -hmm. you are healing with this temperance and the three of swords from that uh, emotional disappointment that this person brought to this situation this is someone who broke your heart who caused this emotional disappointment who might emotionally hurt you and there was a breakup for some of you and now you are embodying this energy of queen of swords as well meaning you know i feel that you know exactly what you want and it's like you have no time to waste um you are very assertive here because i feel that um the fact that you are healing from that situation um it also kind of you know you see things differently and i feel that very much this energy is very appropriate here because I'm seeing you that you've kind of made the decision that you might be putting aside those feelings or any emotions and now it's like I'm going to kind of judge set this situation on logic facts and um, rational outlook if we can say it that way meaning I feel that you are coming from the place that even if this person it's going to reach out or try to reconnect with you i feel that you are again with the queen of swords you might be open for communication you might be open to simply kind of hear what they're about to tell you but it's more about the uh, be being very careful cautious and to not rush into things mm -mm. five of cups suggests that you might be still thinking about this person i feel that you know uh, you might have a soft spot for them. Maybe love is still there for some of you. But this whole situation that occurred in this connection with the Five of Cups made you feel very, very unhappy. And I feel that, you know, there was a time, I don't feel it's now you think that way, but in the past, maybe you felt like well, it's such a, you know, shame that actually it didn't work out because it felt it feels like a lost opportunity for happiness and joy but now it's i feel it's it's different you have a different outlook now but nevertheless i still feel that you know you remember what happened that's the bottom line here with the five of cups in this context of this reading and it's like, I know what happened. I'm focusing on myself. I'm healing from that situation. But I'm also embodying this energy of Queen of Swords, meaning uh, big time, I mean business. If someone is here to come, to, you know, to come forward and it's just to, you know, they are interested here in a, just some sort of kind of casual thing or they are just here to uh, wanting me to entertain them, meaning, you know, talking to them all the time and, and, um, kind of wanting my attention and for like a f your full attention I feel that you are not interested in this mm -mm. so let's see the outcome Leo show me the outcome please show me the outcome no not, not like this this is this person's energy king of pentacles the fool two of swords two of cups right <laughs> you might be dealing with aries leo um or aquarius yeah communication is coming in that's for sure okay show me the outcome please Three of, three of wands again at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have two of pentacles, the hermit and the lovers. Very interesting. Okay. So Leo, what I am getting here that indeed you might be dealing with. Uh, we have Gemini. We have Virgo. Okay. Um, we have... 
Aquarius and Aries, as I mentioned before. So this person here is coming with the energy of King of Pentacles. We have a Queen of Pentacles. It's like they feel that you are their divine counterpart. They feel very strong connection with you. We have the full Two of Swords and Two of Cups. Number 22 might be quite important for you. Um, also month of December. Why I said December? This thing will happen in the, during this month. That's why. What I meant was a month of February, okay? I have, to be precise, 20th of February. I can't have 20th of February. <laughs> No. Can I? Oh my gosh, I am a mess. I'm so sorry. No, I can't. Give me a second. I mean, this is pretty... I can't check it out. But... Um... No, we can. I'm so sorry. They're giving me 20 for February, okay? <laughs> um, we also have 2nd of February. I am a bit of I am a bit in the pain uh, in the pain. I I hurt my fingers here yesterday. I was doing things uh, trying to repair certain things and I am a little bit of in the pain. <laughs> so I do apologize for any mistakes here, oh my gosh. Well, we're only humans, I'm sorry. <laughs> but a month of February, okay, something significant might have happened during this month, okay? Um, yeah, okay, so let's focus on this. So we have a King of Pentacles, we have the Fool. I don't know why I was, this, this February, oh my gosh. Okay, nevertheless, okay, we have a King of Pentacles, the Fool, we have a Two of Swords and Two of Cups. So, Leo, this person here will try to make an impression on you, okay? With the King of Pentacles, it's like this person will try to come across as they are stable, that they means business. Mm -hmm. With the Fool, they want a new beginning. And it's like this person wants to be only with you. Two of Swords. Here is the thing. It's like they don't know how to how you re how you will react on this. This is someone here, Leo, who feels that you have an option in love. And when they will come forward, it feels quite strongly with this Two of Swords. It's like this person might feel that they might put you at the crossroads. But more importantly, what I am getting with this energy is that this person i'm getting they've never really kind of tell you that they truly want to be in a serious relationship because that higher level of commitment okay higher level of commitment is was blocked that that hierophant with the hanged man and now with the two of swords it's like this person knows that they've um acted that way towards you but they are coming now with the Two of Cups, wanting this relationship with you and you only. But Two of Swords indicates that this person for a long time was protecting themselves from this. It's like they were kind of uh, protecting their heart space, you know. But mostly this person was in denial. And now they coming here to in order to have this new beginning with you, they no longer are in denial. Why? Because they want the Two of Cups. And this is someone who will tell you this. Mutual energy, we have a Seven of Swords and Eight of Wands. This person will reach out. They will try to... Uh, it's like, this is someone who wants to sneak him back to your life. But also it's like they will have an excuse to reach out and it might be, you know, season greetings, right? This time of the year. That is very convenient. And also we have Mercury retrograde. Once again, I apologize about this, uh, about this February thing. <laughs> okay. I feel a little bit silly. I do apologize about that. Um, however, okay, mutual energy. We have a seven of swords and the eight of wands. 
Um, Seven of Swords represents someone who's been two-faced, okay, who was manipulative, secretive, not being fully transparent. They might have been telling you something else. They were acting behind your back in a different way. And I feel that that's the thing, that caution card here. It's a very, very much kind of in sync, we can say, corresponding with the Seven of Swords. And that essentially represents that you don't trust this person. And they will reach out. They will try to kind of, you know, present that sort of kind of, um, make that sort of impression, okay? But I feel that you don't trust them because of the past and how they handled the situation. Nevertheless, seven, sorry, Eight of Wands suggests here that, this, that you will be in touch with them, okay? You will be in touch with them. There will be a conversation as it is mutual energy. So back and forward exchange of uh, messages, chatting, uh, having a conversation with them. Um, and then we have a two of pentacles. <laughs> uh, we have the hermit and the lovers. Yeah, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. And that's also your energy, Leo, that you might be coming in. Two of Pentacles suggests here that at some point you might feel like you need to make a decision. Should I be with this person and give them another chance or should I not? But the, but the Hermit, I feel that you will take your time. You will take your time because I feel that you, you've learned a very valuable lesson uh, regarding this whole connection. And it's like you, you see things differently. But this Hermit also suggests here very strongly, Leo, that um you will take your time because hermit is a passive energy it's also that kind of energy of thinking solitude you know trying to figure out if it's the right if it's the right decision uh for for you and this situation but we have the lovers at the, as as the last card and final card for your outcome here leo and it suggests that for a lot of you for okay for for um yeah for a lot of you i feel that uh, reconciliation is very much possible and with the lovers it feels that uh, there is a big possibility that you will be in a relationship with this person at this time but I don't see I don't see you taking this person with the hermit you know immediately back to your life they're coming with the two of cups you have the lovers it feels like within time if this person will earn your trust and if they are willing to put enough effort to kind of gain your trust and to prove it to you that they can they truly kind of changed here or that they change attitude or something as they most probably will be claiming here i feel that within time with the lovers it is very much uh, possible for both of you to be in a relationship and it and it feels like in a quite nice relationship because they are coming here with the two of cups you have the lovers there is a without a doubt strong connection that you share with this person so Leo, only if you have a wish and you would like that i see that yes this is a positive outcome for this connection like this card is stating stay positive don't lose uh, hope and faith because uh, it feels that this connection will be given a chance uh, to be a happy one. So I see reconciliation between the two of you. Three of Wands as an overall energy. I feel that at, at the, I feel this is, you know, I know that you had this card and I feel that at the moment you are prioritizing certain things that are important for you. But I'm also getting this person's energy, essentially them just looking in your direction, planning, and when it's the right moment, they will take a chance and they will take action in order uh, to, um, to have this reconciliation and to bring more balance and harmony to the situation. Leo, once again, I do apologize about this, uh, <laughs> about this February. Um, I am a little bit in a pain and, um, but anyway, 
Thank you so, so very much, Leo. I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Leo, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.